Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to effortlessly run Windows apps on Linux with Bottles. Myself, Mohammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, for my Linux, I'm going to use Ubuntu 22.10 and in this one, I'll show you that how you can install Bottles and then how you can run different Windows applications. First of all, let's talk about what is Bottles. Bottle is an open source application that allows you to simply manage Wine prefixes in a completely advanced manner. The Wine prefixes imitates the Windows C drive and then it includes all the files that are needed to use the Windows based applications on your Linux distribution. But Wine prefixes requires few upgrades now and then. Therefore, we have Bottles and it was developed to provide the Wine prefixes in a graphical user interface based approach. If I talk about in simple word, this particular tool that is Bottles allows you to run different games and software in your Linux distribution by imitating the C drive of your Windows environment in your Linux. And not only that, you can also use it to tweak different options to change the system setting according to any specific program requirements. And we have concept of container or if I say bottles in our bottles. Basically, you create different bottles and in each bottle you can have different preferences, you can have different rules, you can install different programs separately. And even if one of your bottle gets corrupted, other bottles will not be affected because all of them are independent of each other. And this is one of the reasons that why bottles is better than wine. Bottles was developed with a combination of Bash and Python. And with the help of Bottle, you can run .bat, .msi, .exe files on your Linux distributions very easily. Now, question comes here that how can we download Bottles in our Linux distributions? Well, I'll go to my browser and here I'm on to the official website of Bottles. So from here, just click on download. And from here, we have flat pack package available for Bottles. For Snap and App Image, it is not available. So in order to download the flat package, you have to install flat pack in your Linux distribution because unlike Snap, it doesn't get shipped by default in your Ubuntu. So first of all, we need to enable this one. Even if you have enabled this one into your Linux distribution, you still have to use some of the commands from your terminal in order to install this downloaded package. So it is better to start with your terminal rather than going to its official website. So now I'll open my terminal and I'll show you that how you can install bottles in your Linux distribution. So I'll just minimize this one. Let's open our terminal. In here, first of all, make sure to update your system. I'll update it and after that we'll move ahead. We are done here with the update and there are 11 packages that can be upgraded. Well, I'll do that later. And now we need to install the flat pack package. Command for that is sudo space apt space install space flat pack and hit enter. I have already installed it. That is why it says flat pack is already the newest version. Let me clear my terminal. And now we need to add the flat pack repository. I'll just paste the command. You can find this command in the description of this video. So I'll just paste it and now I'll hit enter. This process will take almost 10 to 12 minutes. So wait for it and let the process get complete. I have already done that. That is why we are done here instantly. Now, after you are done with installing your flat pack and adding your repository for flat pack, now you need to reboot your system. So I'll see you after the reboot of my Ubuntu. We are back after the reboot of our system and now it's time to install portals. I'll just paste the command and you can find this command in the description of this video. So I'll use the flat pack. Now I'll just hit enter and our bottle will get installed. From here just press Y to start the installation process. It will take a little bit of time. After we are done with the installation we'll move ahead. And we have successfully installed bottles and now let's look for it into our Ubuntu. I'll just search for bottles. Here it is. I'll just open that one. Here it is and here we have different bottles already available. In this bottle I have installed a separate application. In this one I have installed WinRAR and this is a custom one. Okay, now I'll show you that how you can create your own bottle. 
But first of all, let's talk about its different option. Here we have menu. I'll just click on it and here it says preferences. If you remember, as I mentioned earlier, that we can have different preferences with respect to each bottle in our bottles. As you can see, here we have some of the options related to our appearance journal like notification, temporary files, and down here we have integration. And if you go into your advanced option and click on default, it will allow you to change the directory where do you want to keep your bottles. You can select external hard drive, you can select different partitions in your Ubuntu or on your Linux distribution, or you can select any place in your system. So this is how it allows you to modify or customize your repositories. After that, if you scroll up here under the integration, here it shows you different options that allows you to have in your bottle. For example, list team apps in program list. Basically, these programs are those that comes by default and ready to be installed with your bottles. You do not need to download them. I'll talk about it in detail later in this video. Now, here if you go into this runner section, it will allow you to have different things. For example, here you can see we have GE Wine. This was one I was talking about earlier and we know that bottle is based on wine. Then we have different options. I'll just close this one and now let's get to our main business and that is how can we run a Windows application? First of all, we need to create a new bottle. For that purpose, just click on this plus icon that says new bottle. After that, give a name that you want to give to your bottle. You can name it anything and there is no compulsion and it is not case sensitive as well. I'll name it as Windows WinRAR because I'm going to show you that how you can install or how you can run WinRAR into your Linux distribution that is Windows based application. After you are done naming it, select the environment. If you want to run a game, go with gaming. If you want to go for application, go with application option. And in case if you want to have a custom experiment, you can go with the third option. So as we know that WinRAR is an application, so I'll just click on application and then click on create. This process will take around three to four minutes. So wait for it and then we'll move ahead. We are done here with the bottle creation. Now just click on this close button and in order to install an application or in order to run an application into this particular bottle, just double click on it. Now comes the point where we have to include our Windows based application. Either we can click on install program. From here, it will give you the option of the programs that you can install directly from here without including them from your Linux distribution. So here I have different options. Here you can see we have Steam, Ubisoft Connect, and we have many more. Let's go back and down here we have different options that we can do in terms of this particular bottle. Here we have settings, I'll just open that one. You can have your display, your components, your performance preferences. I'll not go into the details of each one of them, I'll just go back. Down here you have different dependencies that are needed for this particular bottle. You can change them as well. Down here you have snapshot, different tools and many other things. Let's go back. And now we'll click on run executable. What it will do, it will open the file repository of your Linux distribution from where we have to include our Windows based application. As you can see here, I have WinRAR. So how did I get this particular WinRAR into my Linux distribution? Well, obviously any application that you want to run in your Linux distribution, you have to download it first. So I'll just go to the WinRAR official website. And from there, I'll show you that how you can download your WinRAR. So here I have download WinRAR option and there is one thing that you need to be careful of and that is if your system is 64 bit, make sure to download those applications that are 64 bit. As you can see here, it says click here for 32 bit version. If I download this version, it will not work on my system because my system is 64 bit. So in your case, make sure that you download the right application with the right bit version as per your system. So I have already downloaded my WinRAR and that is 64 bit. And now I'll just minimize this one. And I have my WinRAR in my downloads directory and make sure it's an exe file or MSI file. It is an exe file. I'll just select this one and I'll click on run. What it will do, it will start the installation process for my WinRAR that is Windows based application. So you will see a pop-up will appear for the installation. So here you can see we have our installer from here, just click on install and it is extracting all the files and you might remember the GUI because this is similar one that you see in your Windows operating system. 
From here, select the options that you want to go with with your WinRAR. Click on OK and it will show you a new option. And from here, just click on Done and you are good to go. So here you can see, and this might be something similar to what you use in your Windows operating system. And as you can see, we have successfully run our Windows based application in our Linux distribution. So from here, you can use it anytime. I'll just close this one and here we have some power options. If you just click on it, what you can do, you can shut down your portals, you can reboot it or you can stop all the processes. And here we have some of the other menus. If you just click on it again, you can troubleshoot if there is any problem. Then you have different browsing files option. Duplicate bottle, it means you can duplicate this particular bottle and in that one you can have different settings and different preferences and you have some other options in here and in case if you want to delete a particular portal here you have an option that says delete portal and eventually it will delete the windows application along with it as well and that also brings us to the end of this video i hope now that you must have enjoyed watching this one and you must have learned a lot of new things about bottles what it is how you can install it what are the dependencies and how you can run windows based application in your linux distribution if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care